Hey there, it's Clunkett. I hope you're all having a great day so far. Um, today's topic is a bit of a heavy one for some people, and I just want to get it right out of the way. If you are sensitive to the um, topic of suicide or self-harm or anything like that, you are more than welcome to click off the video. Uh, so yeah. Uh, like I said, that's the uh, today's topic. It's it's that. So today, well, for you it's today. For me it's Friday. For you it's Saturday. The sixteenth of September is the last day of of suicide prevention week. And even though I don't have much of a platform, I think it's still right to talk about it. Um, I think it's still right to discuss it. And yeah, <clears throat> so let's get started. Suicide. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a it's a heavy thing. It's a tragic thing. Um, happens sadly. Lots of people um, take their own lives every day and every year. And yeah, so. Before we start talking about really anything, I'm just, I'll read you through some statistics. Um, so, suicide is the 11th leading cause of death in the United States. In 2021, 48,183 Americans died by suicide. And in 2021, there was 1.70 million suicide attempts. <clears throat> so, it's, it's a... Uh, it's a large thing. It's a large demographic, and um, I don't know if demographic's the right word, but it, it's a it, it's a big problem. Um, whether it's varies with mental health or just um, yeah, I guess really just mental health. Um, yeah. So <clears throat> suicide especially just thoughts of suicide is not good so it's um like i've i i never had outright depressive suicidal thoughts but i've had something that i've heard people call passive suicidal thoughts which isn't nearly as bad i don't think um but it's it's kind of like if I could send, if I can like, example it, it's kind of like you see a car and you kind of think to yourself, I'd be so lucky if that car just hit and killed me like right now, and or something like, um, you kind of wish to be shot in the moment. You're like, God, someone just shoot me, but like it's not like in the joking manner. You're for that moment, you're serious, and I've caught myself doing that um, a lot. Uh, not not so much nowadays, but um, it's cliche to say, but in middle school, God, yeah, so um, uh, middle school was, uh, you know, a time, specifically seventh grade, I guess for me, was a time where I thought about death a lot, but not in like the curiosity acceptance way that I kind of have been now, more of the I want to die type of way. Um, and that wasn't cool, and, um, I, you know, uh, one thing that helped me was I talked about it, so I had a, uh, conversation with my mom one time, um, about it, and how I was feeling, and it helped a lot, and now I'm doing better, um, yeah, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't anything super serious, but I, I can't utter, I, I can't state the importance of talking to someone enough. Like, I feel it, like just, even if it's just talking to yourself, the act of saying it out loud, just having it out there helps. Um, I talk to myself a lot. <clears throat> just kind of like, you, like if no one's there, I just like, you know, I talk to myself because thinking it doesn't, work if that makes sense like thinking doesn't release 
it doesn't come off your chest if you think it, you know, like speaking it verbally kind of like frees you. So, yeah, I, I can't stress enough how much talking to somebody helps. And uh, speaking of talking to somebody, um, the if you ever, if you don't have friends or family or like anyone you, you feel like you, you don't trust to talk to somebody about this, um, the National Suicide and Crisis uh, Lifeline is uh, 988. Um, so if you ever just need to text or call uh, a mental professional or just somebody to hear you out, that is the phone number, uh, 988, for anyone who needs it. And I'm sure you probably know about it, but uh, just in case. <clears throat> so, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um... Yeah, so if you're having these thoughts, um, you're having these, like, problems, what can you do about it? And I think the f- none, none of it's easy. Um, I'm gonna just get that out of the way. Like, it's not easy to talk to somebody about it. Um, like, I know that it can feel like, you know, you can make the excuse that, like, oh, I don't want to burden people with my problems. I'm just going to stop you right there. You're not going to burden anyone for talking about your problems. Especially if it's a problem as serious as this. You're not going to it's you're not burdening your family by by talking about how you're feeling, especially if it's as serious as this. You're not burdening your friends, I wouldn't say. Cuz you you have to get it out there. It, you can't bottle up how you feel. Um, that's really anything too. You can't bottle up your emotions because they will, they will pop. They will boil, and they'll build pressure, and then they'll pop. And the pop can be a variety of things, um, but none of them good. So yeah, please um, talk to somebody. That is the most important thing. Um, even, even, I mean, I already said it, but to even the hotline, um, 988, even the hotline, just talk, talk to somebody. Um, I know that, uh, I personally would want if, if someone in my life is going through this, I'd want for them to talk to somebody. I'd want them to talk to me, you know, if they're feeling that way. I know some people aren't, you know comfortable it's a difficult talking about your feelings is difficult um but it's you know your friends and family should be there for you and if you feel like they aren't try at least try to talk to them because i feel like a good amount of the time they are they are there for you and they do care for you even if you feel like they don't um they deep down even if they don't show it they do uh it's like <clears throat> I feel like I don't show appreciation a lot um, at least physically like facial expressions or body language um, I don't show appreciation but I, I appreciate all the people in my life a lot um, if I don't tell them directly and I, I probably have never told them directly but I appreciate everyone in my life, and I hope you appreciate the people in your life, too. <clears throat> this video is, uh, <laughs> sorry, this video is, like, super monotone. It's, uh, it's rough. So, <clears throat> yeah, what you can do if you're having these thoughts, um, I said talk to somebody. I think talking to a professional is probably the best first course of action. Um, if you have the money for it, because I know therapy is expensive, but therapy could probably be extremely helpful for you. Um, I hear YouTubers, they have sponsors. Uh, they get a sponsor from this one company called BetterHelp. And um, uh, I, it's like an online therapy thing. 
So if you have the time, I don't know if it costs any money or not, but if you have the time, uh, check it out. Check out BetterHelp um, if you're having this problem. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Um. On a on a side note, um, this is the I'm gonna try to edit this video. This is a huge turn of demeanor here, but I'm gonna try to edit this video uh, today for the first time. Woo! Yay! My first video editing. Um, so I don't know what game is gonna be in the background. I'm I'm thinking Titanfall, but I feel like um, I feel like no game was really gonna fit the theme of this video. Like I don't I don't the tone and the the feel i don't think any game is really gonna fit this so <clears throat> i might just fly around in minecraft for however long this audio is um but yeah so i'm not i'm, I'm not sniffling because i'm like um upset like this is a this is like a deep thing but i'm not i'm sniffling because i'm congested i don't want anyone thinking that you know i'm upset here <clears throat> it just had to make that known <clears throat> yeah um, yeah, so, I don't know what else I could say, um, but before you click off the video, uh, because of your boredom, just, uh, take, look around you right now, just look around yourself, um, uh, take in your environment, take in your surroundings, Wiggle your fingers. Realize that you're alive. And that this is a gift. No matter how many bad days you have. No matter how many negative emotions. The chances of you being here. Right now. It's, it's kind of gross. But the chances of you as a <laughs> sperm cell like like existing like you didn't get ejected prematurely you know you you were you were in that sack at the right time and then you made it you were the one who made it to the egg the chances of that have to be insane and you should feel lucky that we are here today uh, breathing the same air living on the same planet experiencing these experiences even if they're shitty uh i hope that you are grateful for life um just for the creation of you i hope that you are grateful for it and if you're not try to find some try to find something to be grateful for um I know there's there's lots of things. It's corny, you know, you hear it every Thanksgiving. But like I um just think to yourself, you know, like uh I'm extremely grave I'm extremely grateful for um I'm very privileged, I think. I I think. Um uh in in my life. Um so I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my amazing friends. Um, uh, I'm grateful just for people I've met. Uh, I'm grateful for relationships that never started, really, um, but that I can take and learn from what I did wrong and try to do better um, so I can actually start one. Um, I'm grateful for the internet because I could be talking to, I'm doing this, I can do this, and I can talk to you guys. Um, whether it's just 20 views or one view, or maybe this video blows up, you know, and I'm talking to thousands of people. Um, I'm, I'm grateful for it, and it's awesome. And uh, I don't, I, I take for granted a lot of things. Uh, like, I'm grateful for the school I go to and how there's hundreds of new people that I've never met 
But there's also, you know, the same familiar faces from back when I was in kindergarten, you know, um, which they have dwindled throughout the years. There's less and less familiar faces. But, uh, you know, the new, the, the new people are, are cool, too. Um, I'm grateful for feelings, like emotion. Um, even though it sucks, you know, it's a, it's a feeling I, I don't, I, I love and I hate. It's a feeling I love and I hate. Um, I'm grateful to like things, like people. I'm grateful to, to like, I like crushes, you know. I'm grateful for that, even though it's a, it's a feeling that I hate and I love at the same time. I'm grateful for it, um, because it, I get to feel, you know, like, uh, emotion is awesome, but it's also terrible, yeah, but it's what makes us human, you know, it makes, it's what makes living things living is emotion, um, at least sentient ones, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I hope you have things to be grateful for too, and I was going to talk about purpose, um, in this video, but I, I think that's, that's a very different one, I was going to talk about the purpose thing, like, back when I was talking about, about my middle school thing, like, the little, that, what I was talking, when I was talking about that, um, and how I kind of, um, I really, I had those thoughts a lot, because, um, I, I felt like I lacked purpose, I felt like I wasn't on this planet for a reason, I never found, I'm still trying to find that spark, like, some, that, something that I'm, that I'm really, really passionate about, and I, I still haven't found it, and it, it'll take time, um, you know, it, it takes experimenting, it takes time, um, but for a while, it, the thing, the feeling of me not just not having a known purpose weighed down on me a lot, um, because I, I just, I felt useless, um, as a human, I was like, well, I'm not, I felt like I wasn't contributing anything, and I felt like I wouldn't contribute anything if I never found my purpose, <clears throat> I also felt, um, back because I had never found, um, like, romance, um, and that was, that was a bit of a self-worth thing, and that's, that's a, probably a different video, um, but self-worth, that's also something that could, um, lead you to be thinking negative thoughts like this, like, like, suicidal thoughts, and, uh, uh, if nobody's told you in a while, you're worth everything. You're awesome. Um, you are worth a lot. You're you're cool. You're awesome sauce. I I don't know how to. I don't really. I'm I'm bad at comforting people. Um, but you're cool. You're awesome sauce. Um. So yeah. Uh. So I went on a little tangent there, but. Yeah, uh, I think that's what's going to wrap up this video. Um, I, I know as soon as I hit stop recording, I'm going to think of like, oh, I forgot to talk about this. But um, yeah, I, I've been, it's almost been 20 minutes. I can't believe I've been rambling for that long. Not rambling, but um, just talking for this long. So yeah. Um, thank you. If you listen to this whole thing, thank you. Um, I hope you feel a little better about your existence. I hope you feel a little less alone. And if you need someone to talk to, if you really feel like you don't have anyone to talk to, um, find someone. I, again, for the third time, 988. Um, it's the, the crisis hotline. But also, some friends, your family. Um... I don't have it. I don't have an email, but because um, I, you know, my my cha I don't have like a business email. I don't want to use my personal one, but um, maybe the maybe the comments, 
like if you just need to get something out there but you know don't feel like you have to um because i the comments are public so if you know that i i could see why you wouldn't want to there um but yeah uh, that about wraps it up for this video um this is a little side note i know some of my friends watch these videos and um I know you're listening to this. At least I hope you're listening to this. Um, uh, I want you to know that you can talk to me whenever you need to. I know I kind of um, like like to like to be alone a lot. Like I'm a I like I don't join like uh, I don't join like voice parties sometimes because I'm just trying to I'm just enjoying like my alone time. But uh, I appreciate you guys a lot, and uh, you can talk to me uh, if you need to, whenever you feel like it. It's it's no burden to me at all. So, on that note, <clears throat> if you're still in this video, even though this is like the third time I've tried wrapping the video up, if nobody's told you today, you are loved, you're worth everything, you are awesome. I'll catch you all next week. Later.